Hello. It's been a long time <laughs> since the last clip. Um, actually, I don't even remember which clip was my last clip. Basically, I've been a horrible AG tuber um, because I've been filming almost no BTS at all. So I'm back. <laughs> Partly, it is currently 10 days until Christmas, and I promised my mother that my studio would be clean and presentable by Christmas. No, I have about four more scenes to go. Technically a few more because there's like little like montage clips that I need to do. I'm optimistic. I'm optimistic about this. I think that it's gonna go well. You think if, like when I put this on straight, it would be straight. <gasps> See this? I put this stuff on straight. Like, I put it on straight, and what is this? Anyways, where was I? Point is, this is very crooked, and I'm running out of time. Yeah. No. The fact that this is not sticky is to my advantage. Ugh, come on. There are going to be grooves, and that's going to be part of the normal contour of the wood. I've decided that. I hate this. I hate this. You are going to stick, and you are going to like it, mister. Sometimes you need to unwind, you know? And apparently this is how I choose to do it. That one actually went on way better. Am I becoming a professional? the disaster zone that is this studio. It's like a new layer of chaos every few feet. Just, this room looks very clean actually. So yeah, that's, that's kind of what I'm, it's uh, kind of what I'm dealing with. Okay, so before you watch the next part, just know that this was not the best week. I was struggling. I was I was having a bit of a time. Filming was taking longer than I wanted to. Things were not going well. Uh, so I just I just bumbled around the studio for like three or four days straight, just in utter confusion. So I am sorry for what you're about to witness. Know that I am I'm better now. I'm okay. <laughs> <sighs> I just might scream. <laughs> okay, fourth time cutting. Does it fit? So close. So close. I've now lost count of how many times I've had to cut this. Please fit. For my sanity. <sighs> Looks like my sanity isn't enough. <laughs> no, that's even shorter. Oh, well, now I know. Now I know. Another quarter inch. <laughs> I should just bring scissors here at this point. No, you should measure the thing, Kaylee. Measure it. It will make all of your problems go away. What is wrong with whatever is this thing? I can't even talk. I can't even talk. This, this time I cut off a huge section and it fits. It fits. Ugh. Why didn't I just measure it? Why? <laughs> This video should just be called Everything is a Mess. But I'm still making progress. Clutter is never conducive to success. Anyways, I got my outline, so. Now I have to do it again, um, but in a neat shape. <laughs> Literally one cut in and I am now bleeding. It really hurts.
I think this is all I have the mental capacity for tonight. You know, I really should get an X-Acto knife up here because this is ridiculously hard to cut. <laughs> Lo and behold, the next day I did get an X-Acto knife and it worked wonders. I cut through that very, very hard cardboard that for some reason I decided to use. Um, and here's me painting it white. I was at first very unhappy with how this door turned out, but you know what? It actually worked out. But yeah, this was the point in the project where I was getting a little over it. I was a little over the indoor scenes. I, the outdoor scenes, I had like so much like gusto and uh, inspiration. The indoor scenes, I definitely had less, um, but I did enjoy it. I actually did quite enjoy the indoor scenes once I really got into it. <laughs> yeah, it worked out in the end. We've got Demi and Alex over here playing dress up. I think they look very cute. Over here, we've got the door. Um, Gray sitting in her rocking chair and Kanani is just, yeah, standing there. Uh, we've got Di, Jasper, and Autumn. I have this really cute little side table that my sister found and gave to me. Um, this vase that I got at a market with some little baby's breath. Then on the wall over here to try to distract from, uh, well, the two-toneness of the wall, we have this painting of the Hill family farm. Um, back in the day when the house was just a little log cabin so I painted it <laughs> but it's just meant to be a background piece it doesn't have to be like anything major but yeah I think it turned out way better than I hoped actually which is really amazing because I I thought this was a fail a little while ago it's it's growing on me okay so this is my setup for this side in the uh, darkness. One light over here. One small light on top of there. And then I have another light over there that is shining through this door. That's that. Now I'm going to turn it around for filming the other side of the room that is right now empty. Okay, so so far so good. This is my mirroring of the room. It was very confusing. So basically Autumn's bed is going to be there. This is Kanani's bed. I haven't given her different covers yet. That's my next order of business. All right, Kanani's half of the room and Autumn's side of the room. So now I'm just highlighting the lines where we're on Kanani's side of the room. And that's a wrap. So now the question remains, will she finish before Christmas? Well, you'll have to come back next time to find out. Thanks for watching and I'll see you soon. Bye. When I scream in the night, you hold me tight. When I'm down in the ring, you finish the fight.